Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a hot and cold spinach dip. So it's gonna be cheesy, delicious. Oh my gosh, it's super, super simple, and you guys are going to be obsessed. So you can, you know, with holidays coming up, you have, you know, Thanksgiving, people are gonna start coming over for gatherings, and this is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you um, how I make it, and then we're gonna just make a few little tiny modifications, and I'm gonna show you how to make it into a cheesy baked spinach dip. So let's get started with our with our spinach. So I just grabbed this little guy, okay? Um, I bought this at my local Ralph's. It's uh, 12 ounces. So microwave your spinach for three minutes. It's gonna release a lot of water. And because it's so hot and then I burn my hands, I already did that. Okay, but it's very simple. Open the bag, pour in the bowl, microwave for three minutes, and then you grab a like a cheesecloth or this is just like a kitchen towel, and literally you're just going to wring all of the um, water out, okay? Let's see if we can still get a tiny bit more, just a few drops, <laughs> but um, it's super, super dry. So I will show you what it looks like once it's done so you can see it is super dry and we're gonna get started with our next step okay so we're gonna start off with the cold and once we're done with the cold I will show you how we um, convert that into our hot um, into our hot spinach dip okay so let's go ahead and mash this kind of just like break it up okay, so I'm just using a fork and I know it doesn't look like very much, but you'll see it actually turns out to be a good size dip. So the cold one, I like to, um, you know, just put veggies, some little veggies, peppers. Um, if you have like low carb chips, um, I'll show you how, you know, how I make them. And, and then you can, you know, just eat that cold. So now we're going to add in our sour cream. Okay. So here we have two cups of sour cream. You're just gonna, it's very uh, forgivable, okay? There's really no way of messing this one up, guys. So don't be a scared. And now we have one cup of mayo. And now we're gonna add our seasonings. Now, if you have like, let's say ranch seasoning or like an onion seasoning or whatever, you can totally use that. I am using just like some chicken bouillon because I like the taste and I think it gives it just that like a little bit more uh, flavor than like salt, okay? So we're gonna do one teaspoon of our chicken bouillon, half teaspoon of, this is um, fresh cracked, you know, pepper. So, and then we have our garlic uh, powder, okay? There's a little in there, let's get you out. And now let's go ahead and stir, okay? So we're gonna stir this, show you um, how easy this is to make, I'm telling you. It looks just like a store-bought spinach dip, but this just tastes so much better. So, see? bomb, 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 bomb. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside, and now let's go ahead and, and of course the jalapeno is completely optional, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so now we have our jalapeno and this right here, my friends, is what makes everything spicy. So you wanna take this out. So we're just gonna take the seeds out and it's basically just gonna give you the jalapeno taste with no spice or very, very minimal spice. It's very easy. Just grab a little spoon, take it all out. And again, if you like the spice, just keep all the seeds and you're gonna burn. And now let's go ahead and chop it up. And remember, this is gonna taste almost like a bell pepper. Okay, so getting a little, trying to dice this, a little fine chop. So, I really like how the taste of jalapeno, um, so I'm gonna do both, but you can just do half or as much as you feel comfortable. All right. So this is one full jalapeno, and we're gonna add it right into our dip, okay? And now 
we stir. Bomb. Okay. So, this is the extent of our cold dip, okay? Quickly, simple, you can plate it with some veggies and it's perfection. Okay, so now we have everything in here. Let's just make sure really quickly. Mmm, perfection. Okay, our cold dip is done. Now I'm gonna show you how simple it is to convert this into a cheesy hot baked spinach dip, okay? So you can do one of two things. You can make the entire batch into a baked, you know, a baked spinach dip, or you can divide it in half, put half as an appetizer with some veggies, and then the other, you can serve it with low carb chips or even as a side dish. So I'm telling you, it's the bomb. So let's go ahead and make the uh, baked version. Okay, so we're gonna use this little bowl here. It's just a regular Pyrex, like oven safe, freezer safe, everything safe, glass bowl. I would say it's about a six inch, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're going to divide half of the spinach dip, okay? So we're gonna divide half of it in here. I mean, of course, if you wanted to make the whole thing, then you make the whole thing. But here we will use half, okay? And, okay, so here we are, half and half, okay? If you wanted to make the whole thing cold or the whole thing hot, you can do that, but I'm just gonna do um, half and half. So from here, what we're gonna do is add one ounce of cream cheese, which is two tablespoons, okay? Um, this is, you know, just, it's room temperature, but it needs to be, in order for it to mix in, it needs to be um, like really softened. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and then I'll show you the consistency that it should be before mixing it in, okay? Okay, so now we have this. Let me show you the consistency it should be. You can see that it's like almost completely melted. We're gonna put that right into our dip. So let's go ahead and add our cream cheese. Okay, and now let's mix. And the cream cheese is gonna give it just this creaminess that the mayo and the sour cream just does not give it okay so mix that in okay so that is very well mixed in now okay so now everything's mixed in now we have um, low moisture mozzarella and I just did a quarter cup but you can totally go a little like you know heavy on the cheese and go half cup and you're just going to sprinkle on top okay and Lastly, we're going to, this is just some, um, what do you call it, fresh Parmesan cheese. So we are going to grate this right on top. And if you only have the um, mozzarella, you're fine. Because um, the Parmesan just gets kind of uh, crispy like on top and won't give you like the bubbles that you're looking for in a traditional, um, you know, in a traditional spinach dip. So now I'm just gonna kind of mix this here on top. It's gonna look just like this. And if you wanted to top it off with a little jalapeno or something, you can. We're about to bake this. Actually, we're just gonna broil it. Um, because, you know, everything is, is cooked. You don't need to actually cook anything in here. So we're just gonna broil it and I'm gonna show you how it looks when it, turn, when it comes out. But guys, that's it. In order to make, um, make it from a cold dip to a hot dip, you just add your cream cheese, you add your, your cheese on top, and you broil. So I'm gonna broil it for about five minutes. I'm gonna show you how it looks, um, you know, once it's done. So let's go. Okay, so put this little baby in here. And we have it just on broil. So we'll check it back in five minutes. Okay, so here is our hot. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up so we can do the taste test. I made those quick, um, you know, low carb chips made from the lavash bread. 
Um, I'm also gonna put out some veggies. You can use pork rind, celery, broccoli. I mean, you know, whatever you guys typically use, you can use it for this, okay? So let's go ahead and set up. And this is like, you know, if you're gonna have some guests over and you're like, I wanna make something super quick, you guys saw the dip takes like five minutes from start to finish. So. Okay guys, so here is a board. I didn't think about showing you guys how I put it together, but it's very simple, you know? Dips on opposite sides. You have some color. We have some pork rinds, our little, um, these are mini cocktail cucumbers sweet peppers, and then our fried flatbread, which is like the lavash bread. And now we're gonna do the taste test. So let's grab one of these little guys and we will do, let's see our dip. Ooh, hoo, hoo. bomb, bomb, bomb. Ready, cheers. So bomb. Oh my god. I got <laughs> oh my hair, <laughs> look at my hair. Whew. All right guys, had to contain myself. So good. Now for the cold one, I'm just gonna get a little veggie. Okay. And this is the cold dip. You can even stuff the little peppers, you know, get creative. And? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is very similar but still different. Obviously this is hot, baked, or broiled, and then you have your cold, but either way, make both, make one or the other, you're gonna be so obsessed. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. You guys have to make it, you're gonna love it. I'm, I mean, you're just, just gonna make it right now, I'm serious. Tag me on Instagram so that I can share your recreations. Everyone loves seeing them, I love seeing them, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're reminded every time I post a video. I am posting three new recipes a week. And if there's a recipe that you've been wanting me to make and I haven't made it yet, comment down below so that I can put it on my list. And until next time, guys, I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.